hello guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a report with multi select parameter and publish the same report in Jasper server and we'll populate the same parameters in Jasper server and use it in the report so for this I have created a simple report in studio using a simple query you can see I have created a simple query here and uh, You can see this is a simple query. I'm just selecting the employee education level, employee ID, full name, first name, last name, and position ID. So for this, I have kept in filter using the dollar x parameter. So you know what is the use of dollar x parameter. Dollar x parameter works as an in clause, not in or clause. We can use it in different ways based on the requirement. So for now, I'm using the dollar x in for the in close okay so if you just check it here so this will be my column name so how to use the dollar x is dollar x and this will be you working as an in clause you are mentioning this to work as in clause and uh, education level will be the column name and education lvl will be the parameter name so this parameter works as column name and the parameter name okay so just click on okay so I have created the education level parameter here and make sure this is a list okay so util dot list so make sure this is not string or numeric here make sure this should be java dot util dot list okay so it just click this and you can even have a default value expression to work this report test this report in our studio so for this you just need to create the object of new array list and in that make array dot as list and we're creating a new string object string array object and passing a simple value here called tactical policy this is a parameter name so this won't work directly passing the the parameter name with double quotes you need to actually mention this we are using the util collection in uh, sorry, util class in your uh, report so list in your report okay so I'll just click on this finish so what's this practical college is the it works as a where clause so I have I'll just for, for understanding I'll make this select education distinct education level from so we'll have this many of the things so I need to run over this specific code okay. so this may or the things so in this I have used the practical policy so if I want to add multiple at the runtime so you can do this way just right click so here if you click this you can add another parameter click OK so you have two now so when you run this report you will be running the bachelor and the practical college you can see so there is no space for this much mm, okay we'll just increase the space of this okay. this should work now so you have bachelor degree and partial college not particular person okay now I'm going to publish this simple report into Jasper server so so I have already set this environment in my repository explorer so I'm going to publish in public and sample reports just click on next so the parameter is getting published education level next and uh, I'm using the data source finish so this report is published now I'll just go and check I have published in the samples I'll just refresh this one so I can see this report employee details report so you can see there is no parameter now here to select because I need to populate this parameters in Jasper servers in order to run this report in my server so if I just click on ok so you see no you see the, the default values which I have actually added there okay so this is taking all of them so this is taking by default all of them so I don't want this to happen so what we will do is 
I'll just pass as the specific parameter to actually work with the input control. Okay. So I'll just go to repository and uh, I'll just go to input controls and I'll create a parameter name. So I'll just remove this one. This was just for testing actually. So I'll create a parameter new input control. So this will be multi select multi select list of values okay so click this one so this will be educational level education level and make sure the parameter name if you can see the, the value must match the name of the parameter in your report so what's the parameter name this one so I'm going to use the same name here so just paste it here and I'm just going to copy this one click next so it's saying define a list of values in the next step okay sorry I have done a simple wrong thing you can actually define this statically but I don't want to do this one uh, just a minute actually we need to create this as multi select query parameter here multi select single select query multi select multi select query this one so just pass the parameter name as it is and education level so just copy this one and go to next so define the query in the next step click next so here you need to do the same thing education level level and make sure this is also the same as your parameter name in the report just next so here uh, he's saying select data source from the repository so which data source you are using for this so this is it. next and here I'm going to mention the SQL query now so this is my query okay just copy this one and make sure this is this whatever the name the alias name you give it that should be passed as the column reference and the query so i'm just copying this report this one here and just save it so it is saying value column required so i'll just education level So just submit this one now we are ready with the parameter just go to the samples go to employee details report click edit and controls and resources just click on this education level here and select the parameters that you have created from the input controls educational parameters select next and submit this one now we will try to run this report and check whether we are able to populate the parameters so you can see so bachelor degree if i select the bachelor degree you can only see the bachelor degree rela related data is only getting it populated here so if i go to the last page you can see still the bachelor degree itself and if i again go to the other parameters you can select multiple parameters as well here apply so you can see we have bachelor degree high school and uh, partial high school okay so this is how you can actually create multi select parameters so in the next video we will actually discuss how to pass parameters from dashboard to report so that's going to be a very interesting thing so that's it guys thank you for watching and uh, sorry for the disturbance in the background <laughs> so thank you thank you for watching